Uncle versus Ray Chick, guys. Uncle versus Ray Chick. Say that again. Uncle versus Ray Chick. Now, didn't we hear a rumor? Didn't we even cover as though it was a report? Payera taking on Uncle I of this going down at Madison Square Garden? The sport's biggest star, in the absence of Conor McGregor, who is not licensed, is either Sean O'Malley or it's Alex Payera. There's some very strong numbers saying it's O'Malley. But there's some pretty strong numbers saying it's Pierre. Like, I mean, I'm just, I'm just sharing with you, right? Well, one of them did a 14 and change, $14 million gate. One of them did 15. One of them's going to headline the sphere, and one of them was rumored to be going to Madison Square Garden, but in a co-main spot. You can't be the biggest star and not even the biggest star on the card that night. Doesn't work. Now, I'm bringing that to you because what happened to that? What happened to that? Alex Piera versus Uncle Iev. It, it turns out that not only is that not happening at Madison Square Garden, Uncle Iev's fight with Rajik isn't at Madison Square Garden. It's in the Middle East. So it wasn't a matter of something happened. There's an injury or an illness. You pull Piera down, you put Rajik again. That was never going to happen. That was fake news. But if, but if that is fake news and Uncle Iev is in fact busy, what is going on with Pierre? Because he's not sick and he's not hurt. And that, that's the whole thing. The whole thing. You go look at 205 pounds right now. Now, had Lionheart had a win in his last fight, we could really be pointing in that direction. Largely because that's what Piero wants to do. Piero hasn't called out anybody that isn't named Anthony Smith. He did his last two fights and was talking about he wants to get in there with Anthony Smith, but Anthony is not going to go right into a Piera fight, and they're not going to take it from Uncle Iev to go to Anthony. I mean, this is just, right, I, I don't need to make the case for you. That simply isn't what's going to be next, but I'm, tr I'm trying to guess. I'm trying to get creative. What could it possibly be? There has to be something that we don't know. Like, something like, you guys will remember when Adesanya fought Yoel Romero, but Yo Yoel was coming off a loss, and you're going, well, why isn't it the guy that beat Yoel, who happened to be Paulo Costa, and then the story comes out which is Adesanya wants Yoel on a personal level. He's calling Dana and he's saying, man, I'm in the fight business and there's guys I don't like and I don't want to be punished for being champion. I don't want, because I'm champion, I don't get to fight the guys that I came here to fight in the first place. Like, it was really interesting that Dana gave him the fight. So there has to be something along these lines going on with Piera, right? Well, they're not. They're not. There is not a 205 pound out there. There isn't a compelling match. The number one contender that's Uncle Live, nobody wanted to see. The UFC didn't want to see it to the point that they were going to make it a co main event. So, why do it at all? I agree. I agree. You can't always get around it. Sometimes, for the integrity of the sport and the integrity to the rankings, you have to. And that will happen at some point. But the timing of it, the timing of Tom Aspinall being free, Tom Aspinall having no opponent because he got through Curtis Blades, which happens to be 10 days removed from Joe Rogan, one of the biggest voice in sport, not just this one, saying that he is supporting the idea of Piera versus Aspinall. We know Aspinall will do it. He already tried at 300. We know Piero will do it. He has a chance to set history, which is not likely to be broken in our lifetimes. Champ, champ, champ is not likely to ever happen to any of us again. So, what do you do now? I mean, wouldn't it be wonderful? Wouldn't it be wonderful to see John Jones and we're getting torn in a direction? Like, there's a really big population that wants to see John Jones versus Pierre. There's a really big John, uh, population that would rather see John Jones versus Aspinall. But the more that time goes by, the more that's going to really level out. Aspinall was seen last, so he's got a little bit of a bump for recently. But, but as the months go by, it's going to be very even as to who you want to see John fight more. And the reality is you're not going to get him to see him fight both. 
But you could have those two guys and Pierre and Tom fight each other, and you could have Jean take on the winner. And it might be the best solution. And when you think about that, I'm not ready to predict that for you guys. I, I'm just here to tell you. Th this isn't a guess. I am telling you. I am reporting to you. We are a step closer to having Tom Aspinall taking on Alex Pierre. We are a step closer right now than we have ever been. The spark that started the flame was those two. Piera and Tom facing off and trying to get that done at 300. Right? 3 plus 30 equals 300 or however that works. Remember all that? And then that gets co-signed by Joe Rogan on live TV. It then gets the stamp of approval put on at a press conference by Dana, who did not move in that direction, but said... I do respect Joe Rogan's opinion, and Joe keeps telling me, come on, just do it. Now, all of a sudden, guys, here's what you can't do. Here's what you cannot do. When I tell you Payera versus Tom, as exciting as that might be, what you can't do is tell me anyone you'd rather see Tom fight. You can't tell me a heavyweight that you'd rather see Tom fight. And, and of course, I, I'm talking about that with the players of Jones and Stipe off the board. Now, here's what you can't do. If I'm telling you, it's going to be Pierre and Tom Aspinall. Well, what you can't do is tell me anyone you'd rather see Pierre fight. Now, all right, take, take your excitement for whatever you could get. Right, so uh, Sergey versus uh, Tabor. They're going to fight this weekend. L the winner of that is going to take on Aspinall. Whatever your level of excitement for that would be. Then the winner of Ankalai of Rachik is going to take on Pierre, okay? Whatever your level of excitement for that is going to be. Put those two excitements together, and it still does not equal how badly you would like to see Pierre take it on Tom, who, by the way, just happens to be available. They both just happen to be available. And there's other guys that happen to be getting booked, but not them. I'm not telling you right now that that fight is getting done. I am telling you, without question, there's no qu without question, we are a step closer to that fight today, right now, with Uncle Ia Rachik busy. And you gotta understand, you're not gonna have to wait a real long time to find out. Like, the announcement of what Pierre and Tom are gonna do, or if we're gonna get Pierre and Tom together, that announcement is gonna come prior to Rachik and Uncle Ia fighting. It can't come after. If it comes after, now all of a sudden, Pierre it does have something to do. So let's see where that goes. And if you like this idea, and you know the power of social media, turn it up. Turn it up. Now is the time. Even though that fight's not going to be for six months, now is the time to get that fight made.